Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Brittany and the things that I make on this channel are my masterpieces. <laughs> quite a few couple of weeks since I last made a video. The last time I made a video was for our master makeover reveal and it turned out amazing. So if you haven't seen that video yet, go back and watch that one. It's the one before this one. But I decided to take a break after that large video and it took me quite a while to edit. The week after that was when the quarantine craziness hit with the coronavirus and I couldn't get my handles, these ones, here in time to make this video completely the week after so hence why it's been two weeks but i'm finally back i really missed you guys and interacting with you on youtube and i cannot wait to see how this room turns out after i finish everything for her nursery this week i made this beautiful dresser it really i think this is a major transformation um I love how it turned out. The color is perfect. It's just a little bit different than her walls and it has some really pretty inlays on here. So if you'd like to see how I made this dresser, then keep on watching. Good morning. <laughs> We've had an eventful start to the day going out. I locked myself out of the house and I don't even have my keys for my car. But fortunately, I had left my trunk unlocked, so I crawled in here and got in the car and waiting for my husband. He fortunately works also. It's also fortunate that he works very close to here. We're gonna go see if this one place, the, um, the Restore still has a dresser available that I wanted to get for Bethany's room and we're going to repaint it. It's very old and I took the measurements today so I'm going to see if it will fit and if they still have it I will buy it because it was a great price. So those, the dresser plus the nightstand are so cute but I'm going to see if they can come down on the price. I'm going to offer a hundred. They're at 150 for both right now. I don't know if you can do negotiating in these type of stores at the restore, but I'm going to try. It never hurts to try, right? What do you think? You like it? Huh? You're so cute. You're so cute. We made it fit. <laughs> the dresser and the little nightstand. We made it work. Now I'm gonna go don't know how I'm gonna unload this. I have to wait for my husband. So um, I think I'm just gonna head to, to the other places I needed to go with everything all crammed in here like this. But this is so exciting. I found a great deal, 150 for both. They wouldn't come down on the price. Apparently it's like a fixed price and you can't negotiate unless it's like, well, they mark down their prices in the mornings before people arrive. So if something hasn't sold, they just mark the price down. I had to take a break last week. Bethany um, cut her first tooth. She had a fever for like a day and then was not sleeping through the night. So I decided to just, you know, take a week off, focus on Bethany and um, my relationship with Jesus because I really needed to be more centered and focused on my relationship with him and focused on my family last week with all of this craziness that's been going on and really keep my faith strong. So that's what I did last week. I didn't work on any projects. I just rested, spent time with Roberto and Bethany and Jesus. And this week, <clears throat> I'm finally going to remodel the uh, dresser that I got. I need to move the dressers in here. The dresser and the nightstand actually came as a set and they're antique. They have been remade at some point. Um, so we need to strip some paint or sand at least um, the surface, strip down some Mod Podge that was on it. Mod Podge, scrapbooking paper 
interesting situation. And um, once they're done, I'm going to replace the hardware. Isn't it beautiful? Okay, this is the dresser. It is literally the perfect size to fit between Bethany's door of her um, closet and her um, door to her room. So here's the dresser. Um, it only has this stuff on here and on the top. The sides of the drawers don't have anything and obviously we're gonna clean this whole thing really well, sand it after I remove this and then repaint um, and remove the hardware also because I got new hardware for it. So um, we're gonna start trying to peel this off. That's what it looked like originally. Um, looks very old. Actually, this doesn't look like it's gonna be too hard to pull up. Funny how the story goes, little hope of bigger dreams. Uh, they try to bring the sucker down, singing louder than the crowd. hard on this all day and this is what it currently looks like and then I came over here I've been scraping at this thing with the paint scraper and now I have a water bottle oh I even think I have some in my hair it's getting crazy but then I came over here to this one and look at this they painted the top of this one the other one is not painted and it has like this crackling paint or maybe they painted it with that crackle paint it's either that or it was really old. Look at this. It literally came off in one piece. The rest of it is like torn up in the back. I'm very perplexed right now. I think I know why this is coming off so easily compared to that one that I spent like three hours on. Um, this one doesn't have the crackle paint on it. So look at look at this right here. I literally just peeled off this piece that was right here. It just like fell off. Um, let me show you. If, I, I hope that these ones come off as easily as those ones did because then I don't have to scrub it. 
Oh wait, do we? Oh my goodness. Goodness gracious. I wish they had done the rest of them like this. It would not have taken me so long. Okay. All right, the next step is I'm going to wash everything with a bleach solution and soap and warm water to get them really clean. And then once that's dry, I'm going to sand everything down so that the um, paint that I put on it will stay on well. <music> set up out here. I'm going to mix my paint for the dresser. I've already sanded it and cleaned it off. I'm standing over here because the sun is just way too bright. But I think that this is going to be really nice. This is leftover paint that I have in the Louise room. I got two different shades of paint and both of them were wrong. So I made my own custom paint for her walls. This one is really yellow. And this one is very, very pink. So I might need to add some white to this, but we'll see how it turns out with just mixing these two together in different quantities. Speak with clarity. Cause there's too much noise around us. Or maybe it's just me. of painting the dresser and the nightstand. I almost finished it yesterday, but I didn't get a chance to finish the actual dresser. I did all the faces of the drawers and the color is so pretty. It almost matches her walls, but it's more of an orange. So, I mean, I kind of wanted it to be a little bit more of a difference between the color, but I was really going for a peach um, theme in her room so it's different shades of peach and I think I can tie it together with some artwork. Speak with clarity Cause there's too much noise around us Or maybe it's just me drawers are finished what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a pretty scrapbooking paper on the sides of the outsides of the drawers so that when you open them there's a nice little surprise I got this one from Hobby Lobby that has eucalyptus on it and I thought that the turquoise would look really pretty with a coral color and it's really nice it's not exactly long enough but this part of the drawer you don't really ever see so I will piece it together, but I'm just gonna Mod Podge it on here, cut it to size, and I'm going to use some matte Mod Podge to do that. And we're gonna do both sides on every drawer, on the outside.
I'm on day four of this project. Um, I ran into some issues yesterday that I realized when I was almost finished. I bought the wrong size hardware. The placement of the hardware's holes are slightly too um, like wide apart. So I realized that I can fix it. I just need to drill the holes slightly larger and the hardware is made in such a way that it will cover the bigger hole, if that makes sense. And I'm using a washer behind it because the screws are too small anyways that came with it. So I'm able to fix it. It's just gonna take me a little bit longer to put all the hardware on because I have to drill every single hole. <laughs> so I'm gonna drill on the inside, not the outside of the hole, but the inside to make the hardware fit. Thank you.